Yo, it's Trent. Hope everyone's having a good day, good week so far. And we got How a BB Gun Saved Me From a Bad Trip. And I know that probably sounds wild. That's a crazy title. It doesn't even make sense, maybe. But if you've seen my other tripping videos, you know some crazy shit's happened. And this wasn't necessarily crazy, but it is weird how an item, like, and a BB gun of all things, to stop me from having a bad trip. But let me, let me get into it. To set the stage, if you've seen my other tripping videos, then you know already that... We went to the same house as always, our mutual friend, me and my one friend, right? We've been tight since middle school. One of my best friends, I still hang out with him, right? But we had a mutual friend he introduced me to, and this is where we would go any time we tripped, 90% of the times. Like, I have maybe 10 to 12 tripping stories that I've told on here. 10 of those are at his house. Maybe the other two, I'm driving around with a friend or at my house. But usually we're at this kid's house, right? And I, we felt comfortable there. We felt calm. And... I've had like one bad trip before this scenario happened. So like I was aware it could happen, but we all felt safe at this dude's house, right? And there was, I think three or four of us again, usually it was just us three, but there were times there were other people. But I think this time it was just us three, if I'm correct about this, right? But um, we're just hanging out and there was always items that we had that would like be fun while you're tripping. And one of them was this BB gun, right? And usually I didn't play with it much, but I had before and what you do with it, right? It was empty, completely empty. And not gonna lie, it wasn't heavy. So like you knew it was a BB gun, but looking at it, it looked it looked pretty real, right? You like you looked at it and you're like, damn, that thing, that thing looks like a desert eagle from like fucking modern warfare, you know? But whatever, just a BB gun, right? But it was always empty and you could you could pull the trigger and it would click and it was really satisfying anyways, right? But when you're tripping, it was really cool, right? And we'd always have weird things. Like we had a swing that we built, right? And you could just swing back and forth in this dude's yard. And while you're tripping though, it was wild. I remember the colors coming out of my eye, not like coming out of my eyes but like the streamers while I'm going back and forth and it was a big swing it was like a tire swing and they'd bring it all the way back and one time the kid I think he went off the roof onto it but anyways yeah you'd go wild on this thing and be tripping it was weird right but on this day the reason I almost had a bad trip is we were walking through the woods and we'd walk through these woods sometimes but usually you'd only walk through it for like five minutes maybe six minutes and then you'd end up back on either a main road or at like a 7-eleven like park area where there's a lake so either way it's nice right but going through the woods is not fun especially at night while you're tripping it's scary like no lie it's scary you hear animals you'll most likely see a deer because i mean it's it's like very nature um nature filled i don't know how to say it but there's a lot of nature around me right like you see that tree there's there's a lot of parks around you that just are filled with trees and shit so there's a lot of animals right so of course you're gonna see deer and stuff it was freaky right well we keep walking through the woods and usually we'd end up going to 7-eleven like i said or walking somewhere but on this day i don't know what what the reasoning for it was but we stayed in the woods like we just kept walking through the woods right and i remember mentioning something about how i wasn't a fan of it like it was kind of freaking me out so we put on music that was supposed to help right and I was the one controlling the music because I was the one that was in like the bad headspace. Not that I was having a bad trip yet. I just, I was starting to get concerned. Like I was getting scared of the woods. I really was, right? Like no lie. And we didn't bring the BB gun with us, obviously. So it's not like I had that to calm me down or anything. I just had, I think the only thing I had was, yeah, the little speaker that was playing, mu uh, not money, that was playing music. And then maybe a drink, maybe like a Diet Pepsi, which I hate Pepsi and Diet Pepsi, but when I was tripping, I used to love it. So we keep walking in the woods. And I remember I was starting to really get freaked out, right? So I asked my one friend, not the mutual friend, but the one I was close to, I was like, hey, can we go back to the house or something? Like, I'm gonna have a bad trip or something. I was not doing good, right? He's like, yeah, no worries. And just to say, I had juice on on the way back and I was enjoying that. Like, I didn't like the environment we were in, but the music was banging, right? Like it was uh, Make Believe by Juice If You know that song? It, it's fire but when you're tripping it feels like it's like going through you and he, he yells ecstasy and you're like oh it's weird right it, it was awesome i love the way that like i don't trip anymore and I, I don't know if i ever will again in my life maybe but maybe not who knows but music while you're tripping if you really like the song it is fucking great it feels like it's like inside of you it's awesome right but don't do drugs <laughs> so anyways um when we get towards the house we get closer to it right and I'm feeling a little better about this situation, but I was still nervous. I was still was thinking like, hey, 
This could turn bad any second now. And we get back to the house. We go straight downstairs. I grab the BB gun, right? Just to, like, I wasn't thinking when I got to the house or on the way back. I need the BB gun and I'll be okay. I just randomly grabbed it when we got back, right? And I was laying on my side and they were putting on um, Cigarette Daydreams. You know that song? The music video, though, is a little, little weird. Like, it just shows a... Uh, like a girl running through a field, I'm pretty sure, something like that. And I was tripping hard, and I was kind of freaked out. So I'm laying on my side with this BB gun, watching the Cigarette Daydreams music video and just shooting off the BB gun, which was empty, so it's just clicking in my hand. And that was super satisfying for some reason, right? And I was trying to not link it, like Bluetooth, not like link, but I was trying to pull the trigger at the same time my heart was beating, and it got me to calm down. I was laying on my side just like click, click, click you know while my heart's beating and I, it got me to calm down i went from almost tripping balls like in a bad way like scary trip to calming down right and it was nice and i did that for probably i mean time concept is hard when you're tripping especially when you're looking back on a trip but i'd say i probably laid there for like an hour maybe an hour and a half or something and then we went back outside and i don't really remember what we did we may have done a fire or we may have just stayed on the swing, hung out in the backyard. But, dude, it was close. And before I, because uh, my friends, what they used to do when we tripped is you, sometimes my friend would stay up with me. But usually they would pull to take a Xanax or something and just pass out so they didn't have to, tr like, stay up all night, you know. Because we take acid at, let's say, uh, midnight, right? And then it lasts, like, it, they say it lasts 12 hours, but usually you could sleep by, like, the 11th hour, maybe the 10th hour if you're lucky, right? Or if you've taken a lot, you could probably sleep before then, but I couldn't, right? I keep saying right. I gotta shut the fuck up when I'm doing that. I gotta stop myself. I gotta think of new words. Because people keep commenting. I know. I say that word too much. No more rights. The rest of the video. I'm gonna try my best. So... My friends would go to sleep, they'd take Xanax, they'd pass out, correct? And so they do that, and I'm sitting there, and I started to get freaked out again. So I grabbed the BB gun, and I'm laying there doing it again. And I probably did that for two to three hours. I did it so much that when my friends woke up and I was ready to finally walk home, like where I felt I wasn't tripping too hard to walk alone, when I finally got to that point, I had squeezed the trigger so much that there was a bunch of metal, not metal, shavings but my finger was like silver you know what i mean it had a bunch of uh like the metal had rubbed off on my finger just from me laying there and spazzing out for hours dude i and i want to say that you know um whatever we took the trip you know I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I, I had an idea and it completely left my mind. I'm looking at this kid walking his dog in front of me and I got completely distracted there. So my bad. Let me try to, uh, what was I going to say, dude? What, what was I even talking about at the end there? I was talking about my friends taking the Xanax, going to sleep and how I had like the metal on my fingers. But yeah, I don't know. I had no idea what I was going to say there, but pretty much, yeah, that was the rest of the night. I mean, I just laid there till they woke up and I kept using the BB gun and then they woke up and I was like, hey, I'm going to walk home. And my friend was like, I have to walk in a similar direction. So we walked together and making that walk from that kid's house to my house while tripping, I'd made a couple times and it was scary, right? But this one, it was like, I don't know. It was early in the morning, not that early, like nine, 10 ish. We were like nine or 10 hours into the trip. So it hadn't gone away all the way, but I was pretty much sober with a little bit of, um, you know, I wouldn't want to drive, but I would feel comfortable probably like going to school or going to work after that. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. If you need anything, man, that's the smallest dog I've ever seen. This kid keeps walking his dog back and forth and it's like this little chihuahua, but it's really, really small. I wonder if it's a baby or what, because it's literally the size of my hand, and it's a dog, so that's wild, but yeah, thank you for watching. Don't do the things I did. Don't trip. Just smoke weed, you know, it's nice and easy, but thank you for watching. If you ever need anything, you can comment, and I'll answer, or you can uh, DM me, because my Instagram's attached to my YouTube. You can go in there, DM me. I'll get back to you. I got you. You're not alone. Care about the mental health here, but yeah. Whew. My grandparents are going out of town for a long time. Not a long time, just like a week or two. 
so I have a lot of taking care of dogs to do. A lot of dog sitting, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. It's just, you know, looking forward to it is not too exciting. But anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Be safe. I just keep rambling on. I gotta shut up. But thanks for watching. Peace out.